Welcome back fans of all things Disney. I actually just got home from work just a little bit ago and when I pulled into the driveway I was so pleasantly surprised to see something that I had been waiting to be delivered for a couple of weeks now. Um, it is something that I ordered and was just waiting with anticipation and just waiting and waiting and waiting and there it was when I pulled in. And I didn't even realize that normally I will get some kind of an email notification indicating that something had been delivered and I didn't see that. It did come in, but I just didn't see it because it was kind of a crazy day. Hello, Miss Maja. So, I'm so excited. Those of you that follow the channel, you know that just a few weeks ago, I decided that I wanted to try out some Disney subscription boxes. And I was torn between a few different ones. I ultimately decided on Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes, and I opened that first one. And while it was, it was a nice box, um, I did go in and I refined my preferences list, but because I enjoyed that experience so much, I did decide that I would try kind of what was my second choice, the one that I was leaning towards, but I was hesitant to make that kind of a cost commitment. But I did go ahead and I purchased myself magic at your door. And this was delivered today. I am so 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 excited to get into this i think subscription boxes are going to kind of be one of my new things i just really enjoy them i like the surprise i like the different items that are in there and with this one i'm not gonna lie i love and i have loved i've appreciated it in other videos that i've seen how they change their graphic to fit the season basically every single month it is a new graphic and here you've got uh, the little box for Magic at Your Door dressed up as Maleficent. And that's uh, who I'm going to be going as for Halloween this year. So it just kind of made sense and it was kind of perfect for me. So I do have my Magic at Your Door to unbox, but before I jump in and do that unboxing, just a quick reminder to help drive our subscribership up. Every single month we do a giveaway here at the channel and in order to enter for the drawing, all you have to do is be a subscriber. So new subscribers in the month of October, you will get three entries. This is my dog Maja, by, or I'm sorry, Iris, by the way, if you're curious. Um, but you'll get three entries if you're a new subscriber in October. Existing subscribers already have one entry and then you get additional entries when you make comments on any and all videos. So now I've done that little piece of business and I can jump right in to the unboxing of this magic at your door. Now, this is so cool. I'm so excited for this. All right, so let's just go ahead and we will jump right in. I brought scissors because truthfully, I know me and I can see myself just kind of ruining the box and I don't know, cutting myself, <laughs> getting some kind of a massive paper cut or something like that. Because really anything that requires any kind of opening at all, plastic box, whatever, I always struggle with. So let's see here. And I'm struggling even with the scissors. So that's all right. Let's see, we'll try this. I just don't wanna cut into anything. So I'm trying to be really, really careful with how I am opening it. I don't wanna cut anything. And this box, it feels really, really packed. So let's see here. All right, so that took way longer than it should have to get into a box. And my apologies to you all for that. Let me cut this off here so that I can just hold this back up. All right, so very first thing, and I will show you, even though I know if you're watching this, you've seen plenty of Magic at Your Door unboxings, but this is what you kind of see when you open your box. You've got your packing confetti, you have your newsletter, and because this is my very first, my very, very first delivery of Magic at Your Door, I wanna take just a little second and I wanna take a look at this newsletter. It starts off with more than a subscription, it's an experience. We hope that you love these magical Disney surprises that were selected specifically for you. Be sure to explore every nook and cranny of your magic box, including the insides of each item, as you never know where more Disney magic may be hiding. So that's kind of interesting there, I like that. Uh, let's see here, Make-A-Wish has been selected as our inaugural charity of the month. Check out all of the details at our website blog post titled Magic at Your Door Charity of the Month, October 2019. That's really kind of nice. I, I guess I didn't realize that that was something that they did, never having gotten this uh, newsletter before. 
Let's see here. This says earn magic dollars and get free products. With our new rewards program, all purchases from Magic at Your Door will now earn magic dollars redeemable for future purchases, discounts, and free products. Check out all of the details at our website blog post titled Magic Dollars Rewards Program. So that'll be something that I definitely want to check out. And then let's see here, new and improved Disney Magic Box subscription. We have updated our Disney Magic Box subscription model. Check out all of the details at our website blog post titled New and Improved Disney Subscription Box. And then the last little chunk of text that they have here, did you receive an item that you already have or do not love? Join our Disney Magic Trading Post Facebook group to buy, sell, and trade. That's a really nice touch. I think that's an awesome idea just because I live so close to the parks that it's possible that there will be something in here that I will have already purchased for myself. And then the last thing that they have is they have this color code here, and I'll show you a close-up, but the color code lists um, whatever the code is on the back of the Disney product, then what the corresponding price would be. So not all of the Disney products will have a specific price listed on them. Sometimes they do have those little color codes, and this will come in very, very handy, especially for things like pins. When I'm purchasing pins and I get them home and I don't remember exactly how much they were, or if I'm purchasing pins from the character warehouse, I will now have a color code chart that I can refer to. And this is kind of exciting. This says, welcome to the Ohana of Magic at Your Door with my name. If you can dream it, you can do it and always let your conscience be your guide. May the magic of Disney be forever at your door. That's kind of cool. It's a nice little certificate. Um, it's got the same little artwork. It's really kind of cool. I like this a lot. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. I might frame it, put it in my office. I'm not sure. But now that I have all that paperwork off of the top, you can kind of see the confetti that's in here. And it is really packed in there. So what I love is that they do the different colored um, crinkly paper that I, I'll put the white in what I'm doing uh, personal shopping orders. Um, I will put the white in there and then I sprinkle my hand punched confetti on there. Um, which is really nice, but I like that they do um, like the different colors. In this case, they have purple and green as well as a little bit of silver and it goes perfectly with the image that they have for this month. So let's take a look and see what we have in here. Got a lot of lots and lots and lots of packing confetti. So let's take a look. All right. Ooh, I'm seeing what I think might be a Jim Shore figure in the bottom, but I'm going to refrain from looking. Be good. Be good, Melissa. Just refrain from looking. This is kind of cool. Uh, this is a Zoom Zoom. First item, a Zoom Zoom of, I would imagine that that would have to be Maleficent. That is adorable. Perfect for the Halloween season, so we'll add that to my... Um, collection and this is marked at $9.95 for that little stuffy so cute and oh my goodness check this out so this will be amazing in my classroom my kids are always borrowing my um, fun Disney pens just like they'll write with them for the period and they they put them back my kids are amazing um, but look at this one so this is adorable this is obviously goofy and he is um, a little pen He's a little pen there, so that is super cute. Let's see, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how much the original price is on this. I wanna say they're normally around six or seven dollars, but that I'm not sure, but I'm just so excited. So I'm not sure what I wanna go for next. All right, let's see, I'm gonna go for this just because it's kinda of awesome and I am a huge fan of anything that's poisoned apple. Uh, so this is kind of really, really awesome. Look at this. All right, so this is a little coin purse. And this is a poisoned apple coin purse. Look at that. That is awesome. Very, very cool. Let's see here. So I'll unzip it and take a look. There isn't a ton of space in here, as you would imagine. I mean, it's pretty flat. But that is definitely big enough for some um, coins. There's even like um, a card holder or something that you can slip maybe some dollar bills in. 
So that is just really, that is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and use this in my purse for the next little bit here. And this is a Disney Princess from Loungefly. So Disney Princess Loungefly item. Very cool, no price tag on this one. Let's check the bag. Oh, this is $16.90 on the bag. So that's actually, that's a lot cheaper than I thought that it actually would have been. So that's very cool. Should I open the should I open the gym shore? I don't know if I should open the gym shore yet. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to open the gym shore because I don't know. I I didn't ask for a specific one, but I did put in my character preferences that Stitch is one of my all-time favorites. And there's a gorgeous little Stitch Halloween figure that I don't know. I'll be happy with anything because I don't really have a lot of gym shore pieces. I'm seeing this little buddy next and <laughs> That is so awesome. This is so awesome for a whole bunch of different reasons. All right, so first thing, I love Baymax. Baymax is one of my all-time favorite characters. And I have this beautiful fleece blanket that they gave to me that has Baymax on it. Look at how awesome that is. Super soft. It's got a little Baymax on there so you can see and it's a good size and what you don't know and what I'm sure they would have no idea of knowing um, my school colors are actually red and black and my building that I teach in is like an ice box so anytime I come across um, blankets that I, I like to bring in blankets I like to bring in um, sweaters for my classrooms. I refer to my sweaters as, you know, old lady sweaters because I'm old, old lady in comparison to the kids. Um, so I keep a ton of stuff in the room just in case it is too cold for them to where they, they can't really function, they can't really learn because they're so cold. So um, I do keep that stuff available for them. And my Mickey Mouse blanket and my Minnie Mouse blanket, they are always being used. This Baymax blanket is kind of perfect for my classroom. So this is definitely going to be going to school with me. School colors, awesome character. Yes, absolutely. Two thumbs up on that. And I never even saw this one. I will be honest, I've never seen this blanket and I love it. So that is awesome. Very cool. All right. So, so far I have to tell you, um, I much prefer this box over the bibbity bobbity box that I received. Now, complete disclosure, like this box is a lot more money than the one that I purchased from bibbity bobbity boxes. The one that I got from them was I think their $59 box. Um, this one is obviously a lot more. It's probably twice that amount of money. So therefore a lot more items to kind of play with. Um, it makes me wonder if I should change my Bibbidi Bobbidi box subscription to the next level up. But for right now, I'm going to keep that one the way it is. And I can guarantee I'm going to be keeping magic at your door because yes, 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 this is, this is awesome. So, all right, let's keep looking. Just keep looking. There's more stuff. Okay. So we have a pouch of goodies. We have, I'm going to hold that Jim Shore till the end. What is this? Oh, this is so cool. I love journals. I love um, any kind of Disney stationery. I love anything that I can just kind of scribble some notes in. This is so cool. So this is a three journal set. And let's see here. I'll show you the front of those so you can see. All right, let's see. One has Ursula on it. Not my favorite villain, but it's still pretty cool. I, I'm opening this because, um, <laughs> kind of a funny little thing here at the house. Um, we talk about my husband being the king of the castle and all of that. And I will often say to him, yes, you are the king of the castle, but I run this castle. <laughs> and we laugh and we joke and all of that. And, <laughs> This is kind of perfect because, oh my gosh, that, that's awesome. And 
I am Maleficent for Halloween. So this little journal, it's kind of perfect. It is just spot on perfect. I cannot wait to show my husband this. I'm sure I'm going to get the eye roll and the, oh my goodness, are you serious? And it'll be awesome. I'm so excited. All right. So then the next journal, this is that um, Ursula one that I had already kind of shown you. And then this one here, let's see here. This looks like it's kind of all of the villains, just a touch of evil. And it's got, let's see here, it says Maleficent, evildoer, the oceans will be mine, Tentus, I can't even pronounce that, um, just a touch of evil, so little time. So a whole bunch of just different sayings and the names of different villains. Uh, that's, that's really kind of cool. That's really cool. I love this. This, yeah, so, so far this box has been pretty amazing and kind of right up my alley. That was, am I looking at that right? There is no way. All right, so I'm going to show you this. I cannot, if that is really saying what I think it says, $12.95 was the original price for that. And that surprises me if that is right. And I, of course, don't have my glasses, but it looks like $12.95 is correct. I would have thought that this would have been a much uh, more expensive journal set, but these are awesome. So perfect, perfect choice. Magic at your door. I am so excited. All right, so I'm checking every nook and cranny. I have two items left. The one on the bottom is the Jim Shore figure. So now I have to decide, do I open the Jim Shore or do I go for the pouch? And I think I'm gonna go for the pouch just because I know that I'm going to love the Jim Shore figure. And I'm not sure what's in here, but let's take a look at it. This pouch is my very first Magic at Your Door pouch. Normally it is a silver pouch, but I am a fan of all things like gift related and surprises. So um, anything with this kind of, wait a minute, no, there is no way. Okay, so this is a pin. Oh, very cool. All right, so I was actually looking at this Donald Duck pin when I was at the parks not too long ago. They had those on sale. I wanna say they were 25% off of the price. And I was actually almost going to get this one because it reminded me so much of Marley in um, a, a Christmas Carol. And that's one of the texts that we don't, I don't use the whole thing with the students, um, but we will like talk about the iconic nature of the text and all of that. And you guys don't need to know any of that. But um, this pin just kind of reminded me of Marley's ghost because of all the chains and everything. So I was tempted to get it and I didn't. And this was a silver pin. So let's see here. Oh, I've got confetti all over me. Silver would be $9.99. And I know that that was one of the ones that was um, like the 25% off. So that's really not bad for a pin, $7.50 for a pin. Now this feels like it is, nothing in here. It feels like it's jewelry. What is that? So this, it says it's $29.99 and this is a necklace. Okay, so that's a very dainty necklace it looks like. Very cute, definitely not my favorite item in the box and I'm sure when I put this on, I will really, really like it. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not sure that this will be one that I'm going to keep. Um, just because I don't tend to wear a lot of dainty jewelry, but this is really cute. So um, it was all started by a mouse, and you can see there you've got the three different tones. There's gold, rose gold, and silver. So you got the three different tones there. So that's really cute. I do like this necklace. It's a little bit too dainty, like I said, for me, but um, it's really, it's nice. It's definitely a nice necklace, and I've finished with my pouch. So that's everything that's in there. Now we have the Jim Shore figure. Okay. I'm hesitant to even look because if I don't look, then it will be the stitch figure. If I do look, okay, so it is not the stitch figure. However, it is a Mickey Mouse gym short. And that is awesome. Mickey Mouse is a vampire. 
Um, so that's really kind of cool. It's Halloween. It's an awesome figure. It's not one um, that I had really wanted when I was thinking about it, but I know I'm going to love this figure. So let me take this out. All right, so at, because it was in a box, of course it took me a little bit to get this out, but let me open this and we'll show you. This is really kind of cool. You know, it's not one that I was hoping for, but I'm really glad that I have it because he is just adorable. And I only have one other Jim Shore figure and I've really kind of started to like these a lot. Now he's covered in styrofoam, but Oh, he's still covered in styrofoam, but look at him. So cute. Just look at that detailing. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice sized figure. It's not overpowering. Um, and it's definitely Halloween. So it can be one of my Halloween decorations that I take out every single year. This is really, really cute. Now let's see. Let's take a look here. I want to keep that styrofoam so that I can tuck him back away. This says that he was $40. All right, so $40 for that figure. So cute, really, really cute. All right, so that was um, the last item in my box. And what I, I think I wanna do, because it's my very first one, is I really kinda wanna add this up and get a sense for how much um, everything in the box was. So this was $17 the little coin purse, and then the pin was $10, so that's $27. My Jim Shore figure was $40, so that's $67. My Baymax throw, which I love, um, was $20, so I think that brings us up to $87. And then I know that my journals were, um, what were those? Those were about $13, so that brings us up to $100. And then let's see here. My Maleficent uh, little plush was listed at $10, so that's $110. And then my Goofy pen, I figure probably about $7. I'm not, seems maybe six, six dollars. So $116. And then we still have this beautiful bracelet and or is this an this necklace for $30. Is that $30? No, that says $39.99, so $40 for that. I'll show you. If I'm off a little bit because I don't have my glasses, I'm so sorry. But um, So, yeah, I think I definitely got my value on this box for sure. And I don't know. It was a really well-curated box. Very nicely done. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased with Magic at Your Door. They found items that truthfully I hadn't seen before and um, didn't even really know that I wanted, but the more and more that I'm looking at this cute little Mickey Mouse, I'm so glad that I have him. He's so cute. Uh, so yeah, yeah, ma magic at your door. Um, nicely done. Bravo to you because this was, this was awesome. So where my hesitation was, to uh, do the commitment because Magic at Your Door is okay. So this was where my hesitation initially was. Magic at Your Door was around $120 for the subscription box and you had to commit to three deliveries. One of the things that I liked about Magic at Your Door though was that shipping was included in the cost of the subscription box where the other one, it's a little bit, it's added on, it's a little bit of extra. Um, and because it was included, I kind of liked that, but I was hesitant to commit to three deliveries because that's a lot of money. But I definitely am very glad that I did because the value was here. I had a ton of fun opening this. The curation of the box was spot on. The only thing, maybe the only thing, and I won't know until I actually try it on, is the necklace as to whether or not I really, really like it. Everything else is kind of perfect for me. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. If you have been thinking about it and you've just been hesitating a little bit, the advice that I would give you is, is this. Um, make sure that your preferences list is as detailed as you possibly can make it. 
I tried to give them a ton of different ideas where I don't know that I did that with Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes the first time. And because I did for this one, I think that's why I had a little bit of a better experience. So if you can be as specific as possible, I think you'll have a much better, um, you have a much better box. I am over the moon with this box. I couldn't have asked for anything better. Would the Stitch Halloween figure have been great? Yeah, but I didn't ask for that. That was just one that as soon as I saw it, my head went to, oh, I was really kind of hoping for that. Um, I could easily go into my account and I could change that and specifically request that Jim Shore figure. And who knows, maybe I would get it in next month's box. But so if you are hesitant, um, but you do decide that you want to try it be very specific and take the time and do your job as a consumer and really fill out that preferences list that would be the only advice that I would give you but I am so excited and thank you so much for being with me for my very very first magic at your door unboxing it'll be the first of I have a feeling many to come so Excellent, excellent job, Magic at Your Door. If you ever happen to watch this video, I am so pleased. Thank you so much. And until our next video, bye-bye.